it's safe. Just a little further. Time. It might be pretty in our room. Clem, what's this? It's called a salt lake. Salt lake? Ugh, sounds gross. Or maybe it's actually good, like chips. Those are salty, right? Like the snack bag in the car. Can I lick it? Leave it alone, okay? Why? Is something wrong with it? Just bad memories, kiddo. Oh. Okay. Must have had electricity here once. Beatnik. My people, my former people, they had a practice. They called it collecting. They use them as a weapon. I do this to protect them. I know it sounds strange, but that's why I brought you here. To see them as I do, as people. As people? Well, not people exactly, but <sighs> something in between. Part of us is still in there. Deep down. So few of us die anymore. We turn. Not dead, not alive. God, I hope that's not true. That sounds like hell. To you, maybe. I think it seems... peaceful. Do you really think there's people inside of monsters? Somewhere. Yes. Think about it this way. Has someone you cared about turned? Clem's friend, Lee. She shot him before he did. So he wouldn't have to suffer. Sorry. Maybe this wasn't the best way to explain. Didn't mean to bring up difficult memories. I lived among walkers for years. Still do, in a way. When they're alone, they're harmless. Innocent. If you want my help, I need you to try and walk with them. Then tell me if you really believe they're just... monsters. They are just monsters. They're not people or friends. Clem! She'll be safe, I promise. This isn't smart. It's too dangerous. She just needs to move as they do. Lewis would do it for us. Yeah, I guess.
The first rule is never go alone. I'm not leaving you. I'll be right back. Find the exit. I will. And say fuck off to fear. I will. I promise. The mask will disguise your scent. But be gentle. And be quiet. Touch the wind chime. You'll see. Hey there, kiddo. It's all right, I'm fine. See? No bites. No bites. So, do you still think they're just monsters? Now that you've seen them at peace, any different at all? Yeah, I do. They're still just monsters. Dangerous things that want to kill us. That's... What I thought you would say. It's what I would have said too, once. Have you ever killed a walker before? I have. Many. Have you ever killed a person? Many. But that was a long time ago. I've killed someone before too, AJ. You've killed someone? But I was justified. I see. <sighs> That's enough. What about the walkers? Are you going to help us save our friends? I thought I could, but I can't. So many walkers would die. All of the death this would cause. I'm sorry, Clementine. But I can't have more blood on my hands. So let me get this straight. If you really had to choose human life or walker life, which is more important? Walkers are peaceful. H humans... My friends are alive. Not kind of or maybe alive. They're trapped and they're afraid. They need my help. I may be stubborn. But I'm not heartless.
Those raiders are cruel. They force others to be the same. And even if your friends think like you, no one deserves that. It'll take some time to guide them through the forest to the shore. Others will join the herd as they go. Tomorrow night, be ready. I can't undo this. Come on, AJ. Let's get back before it's too dark. I've never met anyone like James before. I mean, he's tough. Not like you, though. He doesn't kill monsters, but he's not scared of them either. He's cool. Hey, Clem. Willie told me the plan. How'd things go with that guy? James. He agreed to help us. If somebody told me we were gonna sneak onto a boat in a herd of walkers, I'd have called them crazy. What are you doing with those? Oh, well, I wanted to throw one last hoot in Annie before the big fight. Swear? Huh? It sounds like a swear. It definitely sounds like a swear word. I'm gonna start saying it, too. It's not a swear word. It's just another way of saying party. I know it sounds strange, throwing a party, but... People need something to lift their spirits right about now. This could be her last chance. Mm. I wouldn't make some tea for everyone. Could I borrow your little heater thing? What can I do? We need to pretty up the old music room. Could you make us something colorful to hang up? Okay, I'll be an artist. I'm gonna make the deck, uh, uh, the decor... Decoration. A decoration for the party. Okay, I'll get the heater. School pride. Go Erickson. Go where? No, like cheering them on. There, for luck. Are bunnies lucky? Just their feet. We could use a little luck. What's his name? Beat Nick. <laughs> That's funny. Do you even get what the joke is? <laughs> no. I'm gonna show him the tin later. Have you ever ridden a horse? Mm-hmm. And I'll teach you to ride someday. Do horses bite? Not usually. Good. I wouldn't want to ride them if they bit me. How do you play with it? You draw pictures, like this. <laughs> cool.
How's the drawing coming? Can I see? Nope, it's not done yet, but it is pretty good. I'm done, Clem. Come see. Okay, be right there. Hey, you're getting better at this. Soon you'll be as good an artist as Ten. I don't know. He's really good. Something wrong? AJ? I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing. There are three kind of eyes, Clem. Hmm. Oh, yeah? There are live people eyes. We got those. Then there's monsters' eyes. They usually look like dirty water. Other times, monsters' eyes aren't even wet. And then there are live people eyes right as you kill them. Like you did to Abel. His, his eyes look like you blew a candle out. He was a bad guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. I hated him, too. I think there's something wrong with me. You know what, AJ? Everything you're feeling is okay. It makes you a good person. Am I good? I wish what we did felt good. Part of me wants to like it. I'm getting real smart. <laughs> is that right? Yes, because I'm always thinking all the time. Okay. What are you thinking about right now? You getting bit, turning into a monster. Oh. Yeah. The older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. What happens then? Anyone can get bit. Doesn't matter if you're inside or outside or how careful you are. That's not happening. You don't know that. No, I don't. But it won't happen anytime soon. You don't know that either. You're just trying to be brave for me. <sighs> it does something weird to my stomach. Like I'm gonna get the dookies. <sighs> AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll... Shoot. No. No, I'm not gonna do that. AJ, you promised. I don't care. I'm not gonna shoot you. If you get bit, I'd want you to bite me too. What? You don't mean that. I wanna be alone. Please don't be mad. I can't live with you not with me, Clem. I know we've talked about it so much, but don't make me. Alvin Jr., if you have a gun, you shoot me. If you don't, you use your knife. No knife, a rock to the head, as many times as you have to. I said I don't wanna. I don't care what you said. You will do it. I don't care what you say. God damn it, AJ. <sighs> you can't break promises, AJ. I know. You're not letting this go, are you? James said... <sighs> Guess not. That we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. We might even be okay. You think so? AJ, I'm done. We're not doing this anymore. You're gonna drop it or you're in big trouble. I mean it. Why can't you just be nice to me, stupid Ed? AJ. What's with AJ? He just needs some space. Can we talk about what happened today? With Minnie? Yeah, 
Sure. What's wrong? The thing is, seeing Minnie, I feel like it should have scared me, but it didn't. The person we ran into in the woods, that wasn't Minnie. Not really. The way she sounded and acted, the way she talked about Sophie and Lily. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused, I guess. We can still save Minnie. If we brought her back, we could... You saw how she reacted when Lily showed up. Those are her people now, and we are not. Minnie? The real Minnie. She's gone. She's been gone this whole time, and I have to stop mourning her. I won't let her take you or AJ, or anyone else I care about. Lewis knows when to keep his head down. Yeah, shit. Well, I, I hope so. You know, when I first got here, I hated him. He was so much. You know, he walks into a room and it's like, look at me, watch me perform. It's so stupid. But then I realized under all that, he, he really cares about people. And he doesn't just feel it, he says it. I'll tell you every goddamn day how much you mean to him. Shit, he'll probably sing about it. Especially if there's already a famous song with your name in it. We've got to get him back. We will. Louis Omar Asim, we'll get them all back. Um, I made you this. A clementine? Really? It's like a name badge. It'll look good on your jacket. Hey, Clem! <laughs> wow. Where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up, and that was pretty gross. But look, it works. <laughs> I should get going. Ruby could probably use some help. Hmm. I thought you were mad at me. Well, I am, but I still wanted to show you. It's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> Back! You're terrible. Hey! I love you, Clem. And I'm sorry for calling you a dumbhead. It was stupid head. You called me a stupid head. Oh. <laughs> right. I love you back, kiddo. <sighs> okay, we better get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. Okay. <laughs> 